Hello everyone, welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards. We tried out the Necromatic, yes, that's the name, uh, Dessa Banks yesterday, and we're going to move on and see what, what the game has in store for us next. Is Zan back, or are we continuing without him? Noak's Bar, that night. Banks, if you're ready to talk about it, did you ever learn why they took you? Liv wanted me to kill her. I'm sorry? Three times since we reached Liboli. She'd disappear for a few hours, come back sweating and shaking, and order me to kill and res her. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. She seemed... sick? Elevated pulse, sweating, dilated pupils, dilated nostrils, tremors? But I'm a surgeon. Diagnosis isn't my field. Okay, that's not what we had. And after you rewound her? Calm, vital, picture of health. And she didn't bitch about the whole thing like some people. <laughs> Glares at Zan. Huh. Was she doing something in that hour that made her that way? If there's something that takes you from healthy to that inside of an hour, I advise against it. Damn, this is tantalizing. I don't like unanswered questions. Really? I live for them. I know it poisoned you, if it helps. Despite what I just said, yes, please. It's a slow-acting poison the Druid Mafia use. Thistle Kiss. You had needle-thin puncture marks before I rezzed you, and Liv just hired a Druid Hitman. Oh shit. Okay, I have to say that's pretty smart. Is it? Why? Because Liv is killing, trying to kill them. That's what's smart. I don't know. She could, couldn't she just do it herself? You don't have to say that. It's optional to say that. How do you kill the guy who sees everything coming? Don't let him know he's been hit until it's too late. Sure, I guess. Whose side are you even on? Yours, of course, but I'm freelance, so if she has a paid position... Well, you'll have to be fast. My contact says Liv's briefing her team tonight before they ship out. If we go in quick and quiet, we might learn their next move before they make it. Banks, we're square, but if you're up for this, we could certainly use your skills. Oh, I'm coming. After what they did to me? The next time I shoot Liv Kennedy in the head, she's staying in the fucking ground. This is a reconnaissance mission, so we might need to re-clarify engagement objectives en route. But let's go. Black Site Headquarters, the night of the briefing. Alright, suppression snare suppression auras cast. No alarms in this room. If we take this room clean, they won't hear us coming. Wanna show us what Ghost Skull Gary can do? Ultimately, that'll be Gary's decision, but I'll set him up for success. Alright, what, what does Ghost Skull Gary do? Now we have three wizards for the first time. Oh, exciting. Spectral Skull. <clears throat> Fire the Spectral Skull named Gary, who damages enemies as he passes through them and bounces off walls once. Well, now that she has another ability, I'm like, oh, did I really need... To uh, put more damage on her sedative? Maybe. Uh, well, it seems like we want to give her mana, eh? Oh boy, it really does have very. Uh, the word I'm thinking of. Continuous aiming? Well, hang on. Could at least do this first, yeah? Wait, why is it saying this would push him?
Am I crazy? I didn't think this did pushing. It says one knockback. I just didn't realize it. Okay. So if I did, like... Oh, it's only one knockback to the central target. Interesting. So you could do something like this if you really wanted to. But it doesn't seem especially good. Well, it does kind of kill him. Does he die before or after he gets to shoot? Oh, hard to tell because Banks got killed first. Annoying. Oh, these both take up her action. Okay, got it. So I, if I want to use the Spectral Skull here, I can't do that anyway. I don't necessarily have to use Spectral Skull, of course, but they're they're telling me to do it. Hit three enemies with a skull, yeah. So This, this doesn't do any pushing, right? Right. Okay. Boy, there's... With three wizards who all have a million abilities, there's so many different things you can do in a turn. I don't know you know how to start making plans to order stuff properly. A skull that hits these two kind of looks like something, but it doesn't actually kill either of them, so it's not so hot, right? What? Mm, what is this object? A stun barrel. What happens if I try to come in through this window? It's not allowed. It has to be an empty window. Or a window that nobody's at. Zan shoots for three, right? That's kind of handy, I guess. But I don't I don't know what my problems are. Right now there's nobody I can hit with for three, with three, but there's no three people I can hit with a single skull. As far as I can tell. Not while standing here. I mean, I guess maybe I could just stand a little closer up. Is that any good? Is there some reason I would want to be here? Feels pretty bad, but maybe. Nope. Well, actually, that's not so bad. Let's see what this accomplishes.
Well, what if instead I deployed you here? Useless. Does this make any sense? Grenade this guy out the window, for example. And broom breached over here, maybe? Or just walk. She still gets shot a little bit, but doesn't get absolutely obliterated. And I guess we'll have to save Death's Door for later. <laughs> because this guy, I can't do anything useful with him at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Zan, just like, get in here. Oh, he's decided to target her, huh? Now he's back on Jen. Why is she taking two? Clips you for one even in cover. Oh, does it have knockback? No. Huh. Interesting. No, well, I don't know. This seems like an alright first turn. We just have to finish by turn two to get our objective or our confidence. little skull, huh? Hmm. Death's door, not gonna do much, it looks like. But I think we just, like, shoot everybody, and that's it? We have enough people that... Actually, I mean, even... Just the sedatives would do this, right? Yeah, uh, that ought to do it. Get out of the explosion radius first. first turn was tricky to plan out, or even to get ideas. I'm not convinced the skull was all that good, but it did, you know, it did accomplish her confidence objective, so. What's next? Officers. They're the only people here who won't shoot us on sight, but only because it's policy to sound the alarm first. Tonight, that's worse. Any alarm goes straight to live. They evac early and we lose their trail. If you think that's worse, you haven't seen the inside of a gunshot wound. Okay, sure. For us personally, life will go on. But we're trying to stop a war here. Get into the headspace, please. 
Alright, so what, what are these guys' deals? Takes the shortest path to the nearest alarm panel and sounds it if they get there. This looks like the alarm panel. I can't tell how much they're allowed to move. They have three health and one armor. Sounds good for predicted bolts. Hit three enemies with a skull again. Deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. Yeah, I mean, this guy looks like he wants to go out a window. I can put another window here, and that would take care of that. Yeah, I understand. All right, it shows all of their paths. Great. Now, they, they have armor, but not knockback resistance, which is important, probably. Oh, I guess I won't be able to hit three enemies with a single spectral skull if I do that, huh? <laughs> okay, let's, let's reconsider. I mean, not that hitting them with Spectral Skulls looks at all useful here. It's so easy to just murder them all. Or defenestrate them all. Not from here. I don't like the Spectral Skull ability. So I have this. This is available to me. If she wastes her turn doing this, can I still finish everybody off? I think so. So I don't get the mana, which is a bummer. But... Well... This doesn't shoot you out the window, does it? It does. Okay, great. Because then I can just bolt like this. Done. Yes. I accept. Hey, Jen can afford one of the WizTech? Is that what the one I wanted? I don't remember. One of the 15s. Yeah, very efficient. All right, we're here. If we can clear this room with no alarms, I can foresight into the briefing room and catch everything. Is it an easy one? I wouldn't want to go on record saying that, no. Might be time for some trauma transference. I'm almost afraid to ask. But I'm not. What is it? Let's me move trauma around. I cast it on you, then I choose who takes the damage next time you get hit. I feel like there was something in the Hippocratic Oath about that. I shot you in the head to save your life yesterday. Hippocrates needs to get on my level. Okay. Well, that's kind of exciting. Transfer four damage. These guys transfer... I mean, these guys do eight, so I bet I can handle that. Let's see, how does this work? The next time a victim is attacked, the, the protectee is attacked, the victim takes the hit instead. Unlimited range doesn't require line of sight, so just, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Finish by turn two, transfer some damage. This is a turret that we cannot as far as I can see. Well, no. I think the turrets always had a, like, if you stand next to it, you can turn it off. But we can't take it over. Turn two, huh? There's a lot of doors to seal and enemies to kill for a single turn. 
Is this the alarm? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. There is a turret control panel that we can breach to over here. Well, that ought to help. If Jen can get to a window. Well, she probably... Well, I mean, she's very mobile. Or she could breach here, walk to this window, hack the turret, and then hop somewhere else, I guess. And these do four. So supposing that we did this. She can reach here, right? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So maybe then it's better for her to... somehow shoot someone. <laughs> it's a very vague plan. Because get, getting this turret on turn one would be super, super good. push this guy out a window, but it's sort of hard, because he's got pushback resistance. One use per encounter, but it doesn't cost an action. Oh, one use per encounter. I was thinking she could do this every turn. That would have been pretty cool. Once per encounter. So if we just poison this guy, he basically doesn't exist anymore. That's sort of nice. But it would also be nice to get the poison up here, because then this guy could die in just two turns and we wouldn't have to worry about him anymore. On the other hand, as I said, poisoning, or yeah, poisoning this guy would be cool, because then we could get him out a window. He's basically gone. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it would be kind of cool for him to do a predicted bolt like this at some point. And then this guy's taken care of, right? Problem with that is this guy can shoot him. So, what about this? Okay. It's getting close. I mean, I guess... We have transference, right? Aren't we supposed to be happy to get shot? Although not by both of these, probably. Yeah, there's false profit too. Hmm. Hmm. 
I want to start getting to some of those doors. Um, well, let's grab this mana, I guess. do anything to this guy from here. This guy doesn't matter. Can't do anything meaningful to you. I'm not sure what the point of any of this is. Ah! No, if I reorder things a little. Well, no. I was thinking I could shoot this and then... <sighs> this guy would be pushed into the wall, but of course he resisted the knockback, so... Jen could knock him back into this to detonate it. Could she? I don't think so. Well, I mean, I guess one thing is we do have this mana just sitting here. Why don't we give Jen a time boost? shoot this guy twice. And while I might like to seal off that door, I think getting the turret is more urgent. Now this bolt isn't even doing anything, because this guy's going to die first, huh? Hmm. Interesting. In that case, I think I might just not use the bolt. Well then, what has Zan done? His whole turn is nothing. Could he have... Well, he spent... He grabbed some mana and used it to give Jan an extra turn. That's cool and all. I guess he could bolt over here. transference like that. Let this guy shoot himself in the head. Okay. I mean, it's not perfectly clean, but it certainly is something. It turns out actually taking this turret is not doing all that much, is it? Because it shot this guy, who we could have dealt with with a bolt, and it's going to shoot this guy next time. Well, maybe I could finish him off first and have the turret do something more important. And this bolt did turn out to be useful, so shooting this guy was good. Okay. Cool. Gosh, we can't get to the damn door? Thanks, you're so useless.
Yeah, I don't know how I can even seal all three doors in one turn now. Because, like, Jen could seal a door and then get her move back, walk over here, teleport over here, but then she won't still have a move to get this way. And even if she chucks a grenade at herself, that's only one space she'd need to move to. Is this guy going to die before or after the turret shoots? Mm. Okay. Well... Zan can shoot this, that certainly is something. Not have line of sight to this guy? Why not? I don't see. No, she does, I see. So, like I said, there's that. Oh, you know what? I could give her knockback vulnerability and then have her grenade herself. Watch. I think this works. Ta-da! Okay, zeal door. Good work, kiddo. She's poisoned, but I think we're done with this. Yep. Nice. I'm always surprised when I see the time counter at the end of these missions. I'm like, 13 minutes? I can't have spent more than two minutes on that. And we're now... He's imagining opening the door every second and, and getting the feedback on what he would have heard if he had opened the door. All right, we're wheels up for Kalan at 0200, and I need everyone on the same page. The same sentence before we touch down. Is that Liv? I can't tell. Put a foot wrong in Liboli, you piss me off. Put a foot wrong in Kalan, you'll never see daylight again. So let's hear it. Ryan. Stay canine. Head to the vaults. Sniff around for mana stockpiles. Good. Bori. Straight to the safe house. Lay low. Don't set fire to anything important till I get the mana call. Don't set fire to anything until you get the call. Sure, of course. No major fires. <laughs> no major fires. Uh, he just can't bring himself to say no fires. Steve, I have a question about my role. Oh, God. More of a comment, actually. I just think I have more to offer than my badge. I know you said it'll help our cover, but if I could be part of the vault team... I'm not your HR manager, Steve. I don't need you to feel valued. I use people who don't need anything, and if that's not you... No, 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 that, that's me, absolutely. You can throw your pretend cars around when we get to Medil. Till then, you are just a badge. Steve's high-vis robe sags. I still don't get why we're going to Kalan. It's going to be chaos with the riots. I'm not going to draw you a diagram. That's a wrap. We're H-5. Be at the helipad on the dot or you're staying in Liboli. H-5. Must be 9 p.m. Right? Because they said they were going to do something in the Oh my god, it's loud! Mission complete. All right. Jeez. 
<laughs> Understand Liv Kennedy's next move. Let's set ourselves achievable goals and build confidence from there. Sure. And we have a couple new perk points, as well as a new outfit. Forced entry? If someone pushable blocks a window, you can still breach there and hit them for three knockback. That's, that sounds nice. No limit on how many times you can refresh yourself per turn. That certainly makes her very mobile. But only on turns where Xan is spending mana on her, of course, to give her more actions. So... second wind refresh the move of any friendlies so that certainly would again make her more mobile if she wants to blow herself up to go get to another door I'll try that Navy Seer I love that name what a silly <clears throat> I don't think Conviction is that exciting. I guess I'm going to keep calling this Time Bomb. Maybe I should take the upgrade named Time Bomb. But now that we have enough other team members, getting his, his three bolt thing Improved seems kind of good. Yeah, okay. Continue and ready. Yeah. Well, what I want to do is just go... If I say move on, who knows what'll happen. I wouldn't mind setting her outfit up for next time, but I guess we'll just hit move on in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.